I'm tired. Um, I guess what I really want to say is, um, it's not it's not important what I say. It's, I think it's exceptionally important what the judge said today because I've I've been at this some 44 years and I don't think I've ever been witness to such a resounding acquittal. I mean, there are near misses and close calls. Um, Justice Valancourt made plain uh, this was a resounding not guilty. Uh, you heard the words he used. This is an experienced, senior, highly respected judicial officer. Senator Duffy has been asking for years. He begged his Senate colleagues to put this before a judge before they put punishment before the trial. And, and uh, this is an exceptional judicial officer with great experience and great respect, and you heard what he said about the case today, about the evidence, about his belief uh, and acceptance completely of Senator Duffy's evidence, and uh, what he said about the role of the PMO. I guess the second thing I'd like to say is the importance of the rule of law and due process. Uh, Senator Duffy certainly did not get that from most, not all, of his Senate colleagues. There were outstanding people in the Senate, John Wallace, Hugh Siegel, some others that I can't remember the names of, but for the most part, the Tory Senate leadership uh, did not accord Senator Duffy due process. Some even bragged this is a charter-free zone. And the importance of what the judge did and said here today shows uh, that we can't rush to judgment. Um, political figures, public figures are also entitled to due process. I would say that Senator Duffy has been subjected for the last two and a half, three years to more public humiliation than probably any Canadian in history. And the vindication that he received today from the judge uh, was so resounding that it ought to call, cause those who rushed to judgment, acted like a political herd in the Senate, to the great discredit of the Senate, uh, should give real second thought to how they behaved in this. This man was begging for a hearing. He got his hearing today before a, a, an outstanding judge, and you heard what he had to say. I think that's all I really want to say. And, Thank you all for Are your you attention. Well, well, he came out didn't give him due process. Pardon me? You're saying he didn't get due process. Could you sue someone else, the party? I'm, I'm not a civil lawyer who, who does those kind of... I, your that, that That's not even something well, I'm well, entertaining. And what about, what about Duffy's statement? Can, can you do anything about them? What they did, and they, they were severely condemned by the judge. They were indeed. Is there anything so, to be so done now, though? Like, do well, that, that won't be up to me. I'm, I'm a criminal lawyer. But what would um, you recommend to your client? I, I don't give non-criminal defense. Mr. Bain, Mr. Mr. Bain, may I ask you about the criminal? The judge was scathing, in a way, of, of the prosecution, the Crown. I mean, they put together uh, a case in the, with the RCMP that simply did not stand up as he went through every single of 31 charges. It's pretty, it was a pretty brutal takedown. Yeah, I, I really don't want to comment. I, I have respect for both gentlemen who are the Crowns. They're good lawyers. Um, uh, I have respect for the investigating officer. I, I obviously did not agree and do not agree with uh, their approach to the case or what they made of the existing evidence. Um, the, judge, the judge's uh, finding, I think, is uh, very... Eloquent can in, you, in the circumstances. Can you put this now into a larger perspective for us? What does this say about what is permissible behavior um, by senators? Uh, how should how should senators find guidance in this ruling about uh, you know going forward the expense claims and, and all this sort of thing? This what was very fact specific. I really don't think there's a, a sweeping precedent for parliamentarians except the message that the Senate has to create clear rules, educate senators on what they can and can't do in the public interest. I'm sure all of you, like me, could make a good argument that some of the things that senators are allowed to travel across the country for at considerable expense, business class, 
may or may not pass a value for money test. And, and there has to be that kind of assessment on Parliament Hill of expenditure of public money.